Hi and welcome to another Melel video. In this video I want to show you Melel 3.3, our newest release. And I want to show you three things. Comments, the new revamped uh, find strip and the new find set window. So let's start with comments. Now to add a comment, you select a text you want to comment on, press the comment button and type your comment. This is a nice way to put it. I like it. To step out of the comment, you can simply press tab or click somewhere in the text. Let's add another comment. You can also choose edit comment, add comment, and you have also a keyboard shortcut. Um, maybe we can say this another way. Now you can also format the text in a comment, so I can choose the text, face bold, or maybe make the whole thing use a bigger font, or maybe change the font, and so on. Now the comments are saved in the document, of course, but you can also export them to uh, RTF and your colleagues using Microsoft Word can also view them and vice versa if you import document containing comments from your colleagues using Microsoft Word, you can see the comments. To delete a comment, press the X button. You can also delete all comments by choosing Edit, Comment, Delete All Comments. And this will clear the document from comments. So this is comments. Now the next thing I want to show you is the new find strip. So to see the new find strip, choose Edit, Find, Find. Of course you can also use a keyboard shortcut Command F. So let's type something to search for, Melel, click next, and Melel shows us occurrences of Melel in the text. Let's do another search, Mac, very simple. Now a new functionality in the find is the recent searches. Press the cogwheel button and you will see a list of uh, up to 10 recent searches. Let's choose Melel and we can find this again. Now this is the uh, reduced minimalist view of the find. You can also see the find in a more expanded view by pressing this button. And here you have access to the full functionality of the find feature in Melel. So let's do something a little bit more complicated. Let's uh, search for text that is set in it italic. So from this menu I'll choose anything and face is italic. Click next and I can see all places where and the text is set in italic. Of course in the expanded view I also have the replace field so let's do something more complex and replace some text. Let's, for example, search for digits and set them in bold and blue. So I'll delete that and clear the formatting. Insert digit. In the replace field, I will insert the found expression and set the face to bold and also fill in highlight, solid, and the color blue. Click replace all and all the digits in the document turned blue and bold. Now once I did that and I don't want to repeat that every time I want to do this operation I can save this whole setup in a find action and I do this by using the cogwheel button save find action as let's name it uh, uh, make digits 
bold and blue. Save. And that's it. Now the f I can recall find actions by clicking the cogwheel button, load find action and load the find action here. I can also use it in the find set window, which is the next thing I want to show you. But first let's undo this change. And let's see the find set window, choose edit, find, find set. Now what is a find set? Find set is a collection of find actions, which we can perform in bulk on a document. In the find set window, we have an arrangement which is similar to what we have in iTunes. So we have three columns here. On the left, the list of available find sets. On the right, on the middle, we have the, the list of actions in the selected find set. And when we select a find action, let's select our, the find actions we just did, find action we just did, make digits bold and blue. We can see the details, what's in the find, what's in the replace, all the options. And also we can write a comment so uh, we can remember what, what, what it is supposed to do. Uh, find uh, digits and make them blue. And we'll save the comment. So let's make a find set and apply it on the document. Press the plus button here. Let's name it my fancy find set. And add some actions to it. So let's mark Melel. This is a find action that will find occurrences of melel and mark it with a uh, yellow marker. Italicize Mac, so this, this uh, action will find Mac and will uh, make it italic. And let's also add the digits to bold and blue. So we have the, these three actions. Now to, now, to run the find set, we simply press the play button. And Melel ran all three actions on the document and displays the results here. It shows that how many times a mark Melel was used, how many times italicized Mac, etc. Now let's turn to the document. And we can see that all the digits are blue. Occurrences of Melel are marked in a yellow marker and the word Mac is italicized. Now, one last thing I want to show you about the find set is sharing. You can take, uh, you can click the find set here and drag it to the desktop. Drag it here. And here you have a PFS file, which you can send to colleagues and friends, and they can use the, this in their Melele endeavors. And this is a, a really nice way to demonstrate how to do stuff or to share uh, complicated uh, find actions you uh, devised. So this is the new find set window, and this is Melele 3.3. Thanks and goodbye.